Hey guys, now that we've finished Season 3, now it's down to the top 5 worst and the top 5 best episodes of Supernatural Season 3. Now, honestly, this video is kind of just routine more than anything else. There's only really one bad episode of this entire season, but let's get to it and let's get through it. So we're going again from 5 to 1, with 5 being the least worst and 1 being the actual worst. So let's start off with number 5. Number 5 is The Kids Are Alright. This is a okay version of Children of the Corn. It's a pretty cool inspirational episode. There are some funny moments with the idea of Dean kind of realizing that he might be a father and the kid having the same mannerisms as him. However, sometimes the jokes just go a little bit too far and sometimes it's not exactly what you want. It, it, sometimes the humor just doesn't really click. Some of the jokes really don't work, particularly any of the ones with the kid hitting on people because he's 10 years old and he's hitting on girls. It's, it's like, Mm, okay, this is this is a little weird. This kid will just be going through puberty. Not like entirely, but like, geez, hold it back there, you little creeper. There are some great moments in this episode, don't get me wrong. Especially in the moment where the mother basically drives her kid in the car into the water to drown her and she's just back at the table. There are some good moments in this episode. They just don't all click. Again, this is purely by elimination. This episode truly, it, it maybe three bad episodes of this season, if that. Which is why number four is kind of in the same category. Number four is Sin City. Sin City has one really great half and another part that is just never realized. The really good part is the demon and Dean being caught or trapped in the basement suite and just kind of have a conversation about how demons come to be, how Lucifer is possibly a real person, a real deity, as well as Yellow Eyes' plan. And the relationship between the two of them is actually really well developed to the point where when Sam comes in and saves Dean and shoots her, you actually feel sad. And that's good character development. That's good writing to make you feel bad for a villain. However, the other half of the story has Sam going around town, going after the general from Stargate, talking about mob influence and just figuring out what's going on. And then there's the priest. The priest is actually a really good part of this episode, but he's never fully realized. It's a giant wasted potential. And the fact that this was written by Jeremy Carver is also a little bit more insulting because like I said, one half is really good and the other half is just bleh because this demon priest has so many questions to him when he's dead. How is he a priest? How is he not kind of jerking or getting all weird when he's saying daily sermons? He's just a really interesting character seeing a priest in a bar. It's just so cool and they don't do anything with it. It's more so a wasted potential bad episode rather than an actual bad episode. Number three is Ghost Facers. Now, I gave this episode crap before I watch it, and it's actually honestly not that bad. It's a pretty decent found footage movie, and I, I'm a sucker for these things, even though I know most of them are bad. A large majority of them are shit, but I still like the concept of it. There are some pretty decent visual effects in this episode, and the humor isn't completely unbearable. Some of it's aged terribly, but it's not completely unbearable, which is a good thing because I do enjoy aspects of this episode. However, it's just very forgettable. When this episode came up in the track, I honestly totally forgot that it existed. But again, the Ghost Facers characters are just, they're not too memorable. And the last time that they were in this show was apparently season nine or season eight. So that just kind of shows how little they've had an impact on the show, despite their kind of reoccurrence. Apparently I also look like the main guy, which doesn't help the situation at all. Number two on the worst list is Malice Malef Malice Malef Malice Maleficarum. Did I say it right? This episode, aside from having a title that I'm just too stupid to pronounce properly, is another wasted potential episode. The episode doesn't have a lot of great elements in terms of the witches. I always thought this was actually a really good introduction to the witches of Supernatural, and honestly, it's not the worst either, but there's so much bad dialogue. There's so much really stupid business with the witches. There's this whole back and forth story with Ruby in this episode, who I thought was actually a really good addition in this episode, but re-watching it, everything with her is just dumb. Everything is just kind of flat. There's not a lot to it that you really enjoy, and that's uh, it's unfortunate because I thought that this was really good for a witch episode. I thought this was one of the best episodes in terms of introducing witches. However, I guess maybe down the line they're going to be better, but 
I think this episode just has aged very poorly to me. It's not as good as it used to be. It's not as scary as it used to be. It's nowhere near as much of a homage to the craft as I thought it was, even though it's kind of trying to be, but it's not. And some of the stuff is just not really, doesn't really work. But again, not really a bad episode. However, the number one episode is a bad episode. Number one, worst episode of Supernatural season three is Bedtime Stories. This episode sucks. It just does. It has one, one shining factor to it. And that's the very, very end of this episode when Sam smokes the crossroad demon. Best part of the whole episode. Literally, that's the only part you need to watch because Ted, fucking Ted, is unknowingly dealing with his daughter somehow projecting fairy tale, Grimm's fairy tale stories into the town, which are either killing people or maiming people or hurting people. And it it's weird because it doesn't make any sense. And they don't really go into any sort of detail of how it's projecting how she is having these powers. This essentially was redone a lot better with the Wishing Well episode, which I think is either in the next season or it's in season five. But that episode is this one, but done much better. Oh wait, the other part is the nanny that goes full on psycho on that person and she's got this giant grin and she's stabbing them to death. Other really good part of this episode. Otherwise, it's just a wasted idea. The concept, while maybe cool, maybe kind of intriguing in concept, is terribly executed and you don't get any scares. The humor falls flat and it's just a very, very skippable episode. This is the least memorable episode of the entire season to me. It's one that I continue to forget and will probably forget again after watching this. So those are my top five worst episodes of season three. You guys give me yours, what you think are the top five worst episodes in the comments below. And then the next video will be the top five best episodes. And you fucking bet you there's a lot of honorable mentions because this was a goddamn good season. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.